uh, but also uh, within this family here that's for the boys house girls house uh, mother and father but this here uh, is inside I've told you that before uh, the southern part of Tanzania most of the area is much cold so if the mother bear a child that's a mature baby you be taken inside to get warm inside okay if also uh, she's about in the uh, period to give birth she be taken inside so to have to be warm that's how things was happening by that time so this is the first concept of a basement exactly yeah <laughs> african basement. rock on that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about Let's go family, we build civilization. Now, back to the center of Tanzania, the capital city of Tanzania. That's the Doma. Yeah. So Dodoma is the man of the ethnic this group. This is that, unique. The ethnic group that found in Dodoma, we call them Gogo -go people. Gogo. -go. Gogo. -go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is unique. They got the farm on top of the house. No, that's, that's what they trying to do again so, uh, now. You know they got rooftop gardens. They, they, they build the houses, they roof. Uh, by using grass, then they cover by the soil. Yeah. Why that? They will be planting different uh, materials. Most of them are the pumpkins. Yeah. But also here is the house of the mother, father, and girls. Boys, they have to sleep here. And their houses is open as it is. They have to take care of the cattle. Yeah, okay. So boys that the ones who are to take care of their families and cattles. So what if the uh, the father had something about cattle issues? He used to look along here. Here's the site. So he be shouting, "Hey, Eric! I have someone is knocking inside. Who is that? Yeah, that's how things are." But the other thing is, if you look it like, if you gotta get inside, you can't touch the the roof. Okay. Yeah, you can't. You can try. Get in. So the original name of of the doma is called Idodomi, which mm. means the land that sinks. The land that sinks. Yeah. It once happened. It's known that by that because there is a certain place called uh, San John nearby that place. The la I mean, the elephant was submerged, and the land was cover that elephant. You guys motivate me. I need to go to the dome and uh, M M Wanza. Yeah, it's a very good. You guys, place, you guys, you guys have beautiful yeah. cities. Uh, you in know. In fact, they have a lot of baobab trees in that place. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing of that place is kind of how can I call it? It's flat. The dome is flat. Yeah, and uh, it's. It doesn't have a lot of vegetation. Right. Well, hopefully they're building a little tourist energy so you get there, you get some nice hotel and of you can course, get right certain now, things. Right now the government do a lot of initiative to make it to be a green city. So they're encouraging like planting trees and all kind of such of vegetation. And much less as by now, the Doma, the government put a lot of initiative to, to do some buildings, architecture, some stuff. Because what they want to transform kind of tourism activity to be more of building stuff from there. What I can imagine, Barry, the main thing is to reduce the level of just our population in uh, Dar es Salaam and yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of, you, know, you know, where it's a little more even, where yeah, because that what Magufuli does, did. I mean, because during that time Magufuli encourage most people, government officials, to move from Dar es Salaam to Dodoma so as to encourage some development to that area because normally Dodoma used to to be known as a the region that is backward in terms of economy. Uh, yes, and definitely be less strained on Dar es Salaam. Yeah, yeah sure. The, the great vision, man. A man of great vision. Yeah. 
Yes, my brother, appreciate you breaking it down. So family, yes, we are still here at the Village Museum here in Dar es Salaam. And we learn about all the historical culture that makes up the history of uh, the Tanzanian people. Here we are in East Africa. And it's a nice, beautiful, cool day. Yeah, all of these are rebuilt recently. I'm telling you, they don't be playing around. Oh, you know, for some reason, I thought all of this was connected. <laughs> southern part of Tanzania. Mm -hmm. The Hehe people, they are living in terms of kampong. The husband has about four wives mm -hmm. and each has her own room. Mm -hmm. The only difference is everything, their family, they were not allowed to go outside because they have the meeting room, they have the room that's for the drinking uh, wines, they have uh, rooms for the first, the second, the fourth wife. Mm -hmm. uh, they have, for instance, the special room for the family meetings. They have the special room for the boys, for the girls. But they have the room that's for the drinking alcohol. This one here. This one. But this one here is the room for the uh, guests. Guest rooms. <laughs> but this one here, this is the kitchen. So, uh, they are living as a family one campo. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to go outside to search for anything. Mm -hmm. They were knowing that someone can go outside for the meeting. We have it here. Someone can go outside for the alcohol. Yeah. We have. So this is during, uh, and this was during uh, German time, during the Germany arrival. So this is kind of way of protecting their family. Oh. Yes. And if you are outside, you can't open the door. Yes. Till to ask someone who is inside to open for you. So you need an intercom. Yeah. After crossing this, <laughs> you normally <laughs> say about that. One. That's right. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> 